Bye. Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and today we are going to be taking another look at Victoria 2 and doing another top 5. So, in this video we're going to be deciding the top 5 uncivilized nations to play as that are not like ginormous like China or Japan. So, number 5 on the list is going to be Hawaii. Hawaii is this guy right here. If you're not from the states, you might have an issue knowing that. The strategy behind Hawaii and what makes it to this list and why it's actually a playable uncivilized nation is the thing is you go ahead and you get an alliance with the United States. That's step uno. And then you use the United States' massive army to fund the, and fight your wars for you so you can become a ginormous colonial empire. So, for instance, if you could, you could get them to, like, you know, fight China or something for you, and if you got just one state from China, you'd be the bomb, and you'd be like Hawaii. That'd be really cool. Uh, you can also pick fights with all the other uncivilized nation guys down here, like Johor and stuff like that. As well as their extremely high literacy makes for a quick westernization progress. Alright, that's it for number five. Let's move on to number four. Number four is... Ethiopia. Ethiopia is the, like, you know, you would not expect them to be you know, any any chance at all at having any sort of westernization except for the fact that they have such a good population. They have 1.3 million, which is pretty good. I mean, the United States only starts out with 4 million, so you could easily build that up and become very powerful, as well as you stand right next to Egypt. And Egypt is, is in a really bad spot because they have all these Ottoman cores, so as Ethiopia, you just sit there and you wait, and you wait a little bit, and then Egypt is gonna get recaroonied by the Ottoman Empire, and eventually, it's inevitable. And once that happens, then you, as Ethiopia, just go swoop in and pick up some territory down here, like maybe Sudan, or maybe even like Middle Egypt if you wanted to just kind of sneak a really good province in over there and grow your power even more in your population. So that's a really good way to do it. You probably will not be able to, it's going to be a real race to go and try to colonize Africa, but if you can become a westernized nation before the struggle for Africa begins, you will be really in a great position, and that's why Ethiopia is number four on this list. Number three on the top five nations that to play that are uncivilized is Liberia. Liberia is in a really good position because they're, as a satellite of the United States, you are impervious to, you know, France and Spain messing with you, 99% of the time when I've played this game, I've never seen anybody be aggressive enough to take Liberia over. Just because it's so much of a pain in the ass to have to fight the United States too. So, as Liberia, you have basically a free pass to sit down here in Africa, westernize, and then once the scramble for Africa begins, you will have a really good shot at taking over a huge chunk of it. You might even be able to build up enough of a military, and if you westernize quickly enough, you may be able to get over here to China and really kick your industry and economy and military all the way up to the next level. Although, you wouldn't really have to do that because the population in Africa after the colonization begins is really good and it'll sustain you. If you can get a huge chunk of Africa as Liberia, if you, if you westernize quickly enough, then you'll be in a great position. And so that's why Liberia is the third nation on the uncivilized nations to play as. Now, the second nation was a really close one. I didn't know which one to pick because it's kind of hard. Um, they're really close, and I think I'm going to have to go with number two as Korea. Korea is not China or Japan, and obviously those two guys are way more suited and better suited to just being huge, aggressive people because they have just way more population in general. However, as Korea, you have the access to some ridiculous RGO when it comes to coal and iron. And with that coal and iron, you can dominate the steel and glass and cement markets in the later game and just destroy the Westerners. And, like, you know, they, they, you think they make a lot of coal and iron in Germany. With Korea, you can just get a massive market share and be insane. 
And if you're able to pull off westernization before China does, you can go to China and say, hey guys, check it out, we got cannons, give us some of your population, and then you've taken Korea from being a, you know, maybe not so great power to being insane if they can get some of the massive population centers like Shanghai and the Guangxi coal mine from like China, you would just be an insane world power, and I think you could probably take out the British, if, if you were able to secure enough of China to leverage that against the British, would just be fantastic, and you could definitely, that is a winnable fight. All right, and then without any further ado, we're going to go to the number one uncivilized nation to play as, that's not ginormous, like Japan or China, and it is Egypt. And you're like, wait, we talked about Egypt earlier. Well, yes, we did, and that's because I think you know, Ethiopia has a good shot, and they can take advantage of Egypt being weak. But if you're able to play as Egypt, get an alliance with, like, Austria or Russia, and have them defend you from the Ottomans, then you are going to be in a fantastic spot. And as Egypt, you can even go then and form the uh, Arabia. You can form Arabia with Egypt, which is going to be even cooler, because you get to turn a nice, sexy, dark green. Sorry, Russia. Not as It's even sexier than Russia's dark green. Even sexier than the two Sicilies. It's like a really, like, olive dark green. And it looks great. And that's why Egypt is number one. They also have some really good access to uh, Ethiopia. You can get, grab another million population by just going in and annexing these guys. Um, and that, that's like an easy first move. Plus, all of the oil fields here in the Middle East are going to be readily accessible for you as Egypt, especially if you go to take them to form Arabia. So all that oil is just going to be yours. And in the late game, Egypt is just going to become this amazing powerhouse of oil, opium, and you know what? They have are they are po poised in the perfect position to take chunks of Africa left and right like crazy. So Egypt definitely has a lot of potential as a primitive nation, and definitely deserves your consideration when you are looking for a nation to play as. All right, so that's been five nations that are really good uncivilized guys to play as. If you're wondering, you know, what the hell do I do when I civil? How, how do I get to be a westernized nation? You can watch my other video that I did, which there's a link to right here on the screen right now. And you can also watch the other videos where I talk about the top five coolest nations to play as. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Spray and pray out.